And I really want to get Tyrion in here. What can we cut for Tyrion? Maybe a Spike Ridge Steed? I don't know, that's just so good with dudes. Maybe an Argent Commander? Well, no, then that... Do I cut the Glass Knight? <laughs> Maybe this Chillblade Champion? That's pretty much the only thing contributing lifesteal, though, to our Corpse Taker. Ah, uh, maybe we just leave it for now. Guess maybe we'll keep a Wild Pyromancer, just in case this is Odd Paladin. Do we keep a Consecration as well? Seems like we want to find a Monty Berserkers, Dark Convictions. But we might just play out Wild Pyromancer on two, just to have some- Ah, oh, Corpse Taker, that's what's up. Turned our curse into our strength. None will survive. None will survive. Hello, hello, hello. Pew. If we can just go ahead and windmill slam this corpse taker. I don't know if our Sunkeeper Tarim is going to be playable <laughs> this game, on account of his button makes two dudes. Our button only makes one dude. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. But we can throw out this pyro. Like to play with the battle. It's funny, the number of dudes per mana is the same. He just gets two for two and I get one for one. Math magically speaking. But now he has to choose. He's either gotta play. You know, he's got two cards that he kept, so he either has to play... Speak your piece. Ah, lame. I know this looks crazy, because I'm just throwing away a Pyromancer into this 2-1. I don't want to fall... I think our I think our late game is better. So I just don't want to lose control. I don't want to fall too far behind on board. And on four, we get our sweet corpse takers. I just want to keep putting him in uncomfortable positions where he has to do stuff to play around this pyromancer. Because he doesn't want to he doesn't want to kill this well, I guess he does, actually. This is a too good of a trade. Oh, see, he doesn't even want to. Just doesn't even want to take this hit. He wants to hit us in the face. <laughs> And now, now he's feeling all safe. Like, oh, I don't have to do this trade. Oh, no, he does. He doesn't play that safe. That's fine. We've made it to turn four. We've taken no damage. We have these super live corpse takers. Do I take this bonk? No. He's odd, so he can't consecrate us. So he's probably gonna make two, he's probably gonna make two gentlemen. And so we are going to corpse taker little gentleman, and then on turn six, we can either Sunkeeper Tarim or Spike Ridge Steed or Blessing of Kings. Yeah, Let go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, take that hit. Do it. Do it. I want you to. So we're on, so yeah, turn, so five mana, we'll do Corpse Taker, make a dude, turn six, probably Spike Ridge Steed. Handle it. Okay, an unusual choice. Reporting for duty. By all means, report for duty. You know this has wind fury, right? <laughs> I don't know. Winter is here. Chill out. Level up. How much do we need to play around level up? Chill out. Whether these are one ones or three threes doesn't matter. Because it's either a one it's either one for one or it's either a 1-1 one, one for a 3-1, or it's a 3-3 three, three for a 3-1. Fungal Mancer also doesn't matter. It all comes out the same. The only thing that could matter is if you feel like Fungal Mancers or levels up and then uses these attacks to kill this one. But that also still kind of comes out the same. He has to deal with two Wind Fury Hombres. Free Corridor Creeper. Maybe we'll Valineer on six. Mushroom power! So he's gonna nudge there, but then none of these nudges look good. Are you gonna you gonna take this nudge into this divine shield and lose your guy? Is that what you're gonna do? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, maybe. It's not even happening to me though, and I think it feels bad. Okay, 
Valinir. Let me think about this. Because we can't... Okay, we're definitely not going to Sunkeeper Tarim. But we could Spike Ridge Steed our 3-3 three, three Divine Shield. Hello? Like, we could Spike Ridge Steed this Corpse Taker. <laughs> we could also Blessing of Kings. Gosh, we could make this thing into a monster. A 7-7 seven, seven Divine Super... Gosh, I think I might do that, and we can just start smashing these, these, uh... Right, like, that goes down. And now, seven to the dome. Or do we clear this 3-3? Three, three? We clear this 3-3, three, three just in case of another fungal mancer. Ah, that might have been wrong, actually. Because now a fungal mancer still clears it. But if it survives, I'm gonna also throw a spike rate steed on here, and it's gonna be invincible. <laughs> that might have been a pretty serious mistake, though. But if we can clear his board, then we can play down a, a real big Sunkeeper Terram next turn. It's like we'll make a dude, hopefully clear out I wonder. most of it. Well, we may not actually be able to do that because he's gonna he can make two dudes and then whatever other. He still has two cards that he kept off the mulligan that he hasn't played yet. Ah, oh, Blessing of Might. I definitely did not play around Blessing of Might. That's okay. The light dims, but we fight. This should have gone all face. <laughs> this is what I'm starting to realize. Because his hero power is better than mine in the late game. Hello? Hello? The battle! The battle! Yeah, imagine if he had 14 less health, <laughs> but a board. Ah, uh, I mean, we're not, it's not like we're out of this game, and we actually have, oh no, we don't have any way to heal again. <laughs> the glass, the glass knight's ability is a little bit more difficult to activate than I realized. Oh man. Okay, Valinir, here's your chance to be a hero again. Get on the Serenite Chain Gang. Nice work, Valinir. And they both have a Valinir on them. <laughs> we could start, if we could play this carefully, we could start just juggling Valinirs. <laughs> that, that was a swing. That's what I'm talking about. That was dope. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing on turn 9? Well, we're probably not going to play Sunkeeper Terram again. We can throw down a Spike Ridge Steed on our Glass Knight again. That was pretty cool. Keep making dudes. It's going to be hard for us to get ahead on the dude race, since he's going to make two and then make another two. And then he can still level up. For duty. Only this one but we'll be able to attack, though. Ungoral. Oh, he has his own Sunkeeper Terram. Okay. You hate to see that. I must move quickly. We get our Valinir back. No! Wait, this doesn't matter, because it still triggers this thing. Like, the Valinir just hits our Sunkeeper. Now. We can play just the biggest Sunkeeper Terran. Uh, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. Huh. None of these choices are really appealing. I'm really upset about how easily he got through our super sweet uh, Serenite chain gangs. But we still have two Valineers, which is still really cool. Hello? So I think we're gonna Spike Ridge Steed. Who do we Spike Ridge Steed? Our True Soul Champion will actually activate our Glass Knight ability if we can keep it alive somehow. Hello? But I just don't know exactly how. Hello? I guess if we do this. Make a mook. Spike Ridge Steed, the mook. That still doesn't quite get there. Because six, seven, and then four. Yeah, we still lose our glass knight. Darn. Reporting for duty. This is going to be a huge level up. Reporting for duty. Hey, that's our hero power. Yeah. We need a Consecrate. Really doesn't matter how you do the... I mean, I guess it does. Take your time. Take your time. I'm sorry. 
Okay, so our plan is to just rip this Consecrate right off the top. Oh, he's trying to maximize the number. Hey, got him! <laughs> we'll just go ahead. Do we even need the equality first? Yeah, I guess these guys would survive. I really want to just consecrate because then I could play Sunkeeper Tarim as just a 7-9 beater. But I suppose that's not that's not good enough. Cause yeah, too many would survive. Alright, we can equality consecrate this. Now the question is, do we just stack another Valineer on the Sunkeeper Tarim? by playing out our true silver champion. Hello. So is this it's an 11 11? Holy crap. <laughs> so he's going to hit his button. He might leave the game. <laughs> but but chances are he's going to hit the button and then play something and so we'll true silver champion and then play out our 11 11 Sunkeeper Tarim. Hopefully we'll draw a creature. Okay. Actually, Sunkeeper Tarim is going to be great against that. <laughs> so we can Sunkeeper Tarim this guy. So we Sunkeeper Tarim first. True Silver Champion. True Silver through there. We don't have any creatures, but he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that our last card is not, you know, a Wind Fury Harpy. If he's got an Iron Beak Owl, that's going to be really sad. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has more attack than you have life. I know nine of that life is superfluous, but yeah, there it is. Hello! Hello. 